Closed project or phase is the process of finalizing activities across all of the project management process groups to formally complete the project or phase. This process is really about the project team delivering the final product, service, or result expected from the project. This includes all the deliverables which are produced during the executing process group. In closed project or phase, the project manager reviews all prior information from previous phase closures to ensure that all the project work is completed and the project objective is met. Also, if a project is terminated, this process establishes procedures to investigate and document the reasons why the project was terminated. Here are some important points to remember about this process. The closed project or phase process includes finalizing all activities completed across all project management process groups, formally closing the project or project phase, transferring the completed or canceled project as appropriate. The closed process is done A, at the end of each project phase, B, at the end of the project, or C, if the project is terminated, in which case the process is to document the reason that the project is being terminated before completion. Please note that an important input in this process is accepted deliverables, which is an output from the Verify Scope process. This means that the deliverables have been reviewed to ensure that all were completed correctly and satisfactorily, and we have obtained signed off from the customer. That's great news. The organizational process assets that are updated as a result of the closed process include project files, which are the documents resulting from the project's activities, such as the project management plan, scope management plan, and cost management plan. Remember all of those plans that we talked about in the planning process earlier? Well, in the closing process, all of those have to get updated. And project or phase closure documents have to be created. These are documents resulting from the activities of the actual closed project or phase process. This will include things like a review of prior phase documentation, customer acceptance documentation from scope verification and the contract, if that applies, to ensure that all project requirements are complete prior to finalizing the close of the project. Finally, lessons learned. Let's figure out what worked and what could be improved for any similar type projects in the future. What lessons did we learn? Think about it, get with the project team, and document it. And that concludes this module on project integration management and the six processes involved in that knowledge area. I hope you've enjoyed these lessons and will remember that integration is really the hub of the wheel that brings all of the process groups and knowledge areas together to accomplish project objectives. I hope you will join me in the next module of videos as we go over the scope management knowledge area.